Elapsed time is the total amount of time that passes from the starting time to the ending time. So imagine we're doing an activity like walking our dog, taking a nap, taking a shower. We can figure out how much time we spent doing that activity by calculating the elapsed time. You might have already watched a video where we did that using a clock. Another way we can do it, another tool that can be helpful is a number line. I like to use an open number line because it lets me be really flexible with my numbers. Let's imagine I'm eating dinner. I start eating at 532 and I finish eating at 558. How long did I spend eating my dinner? I need to figure out how many minutes passed between my start and end time. What could I add on to my start time until I get to my end time? Well, I like to think of easy numbers. I know that if I add 10 minutes to 532, I'll get 542. I'm not there yet. How about I add 10 more minutes? And then, so 542 plus 10 minutes will get me to 552. Okay, I'm almost there, 552 to 558. Well, I know that two plus six is eight, so 52 plus six is 58. To get from 532 to 558, I added 10 plus another 10 plus six. I added a total of 26 minutes. 26 minutes elapsed between my start and my end time. Let's do another one. Let's say I'm eating dinner again. This time I start at 518 and I end at 545. I could count by tens again if I want. I'm actually gonna take an even bigger jump this time. I'm gonna add 20 minutes. If I add 20 to 518, I'll get 2838, 538. Oh, actually, I'm getting pretty close to my 545. I'm gonna add two more. And the reason I wanna add two more minutes is because if I add two to 38, it will get me to 40, 540, oops. It's just like a nice, easy time for me to think about. And now from 540 to 545, I'm gonna add five more minutes, plus five. To get from 518 to 545, I added 20 plus two more plus five more for a total of 27. 27 minutes elapsed. Let's do one more, 528 to 550. In the other ones, I took jumps of 10 or 20 because they were really easy jumps for me to take. This time, maybe I'll start just by adding two minutes. I like to add two because that takes me from 28 to 530, which is a nice, round, easy number. I actually know in my head that 530 to 550, 30 plus 20 gives me 50. So all I need to do is one more big jump of 20 and I get to 50. I went up two minutes and 20 more minutes for a total of 22 minutes. 22 minutes elapsed between 528 and 550. You might like to use clocks to figure out elapsed time and to count your minutes that way, but open number lines are another really flexible tool. You've used them to add and subtract other numbers in the past. You can use them to calculate elapsed time as well.